Uh, I'm Youngjin Choi. Uh, I'm supposed to teach this course in English, but I'm not good at. <laughs> okay, the I belong to Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering of Hanyang University. Uh, the best way to communicate with me is sending an email. Uh, my email address is uh, listed like this: cyj at hanyang.h.kr. The telephone number is the 5232. Okay, if you want to get some advice or some consult from me, then uh, the first step is to send you an email, and then I will reply the information, including the location and the time about the meeting. Then let's get together at the time, at the same, at the place. Okay. The subject of this course is the modern robotics. Actually, it is same as the modern robotics text textbook uh, written by the Kevin Lynch and the, uh, Frank Park. Okay, uh, let's uh, read the sum summary of the textbook. Okay, robotics is a relatively young field with a great goal. Wow. The ultimate goal of the modern robotics is to developed machines. Okay, the machine that can act and decide like human. Okay, the decide include the two kinds of things such as the sense and plan. Sense and plan will uh, we, using the sensing and the planning and we can decide something. So the robot can be defined as the machine that can act, sense, and plan like humans. Okay, attempt to create the intelligent machines begin with looking at the human structure, such as the mechanism and the control structure of the, our bodies. The main focus of the robotics is the human, human movement, human thinking human perception, human sensing system, human uh, limb coordination. Like this, the, all the topic of the human will be the main subject of the robotics. On the other hand, the focus of this subject is on robot mechanism, is corresponding to the human structure and the motion planning, it, it is corresponding to the decision like a human, and the intelligent control. Okay, this is the summary of the discourse, but we will concentrate on the structure of the mechanism and uh, how to describe the kinematics and the dynamics and then control. Okay, we can get many kinds of further information about the, this textbook uh, using the, this website modernrobotics.org. This website provides many kinds of information such as online lecture as well and uh, some simulation tool using the, the uh, MATLAB or something like that. Okay, uh, I'd like you to visit this website uh, at any time. Okay, this is course schedule. Today I will talk about the chapter one as a preview and then I will deal with the chapter two and then the rigid body motion uh, and the board kinematics, velocity kinematics and inverse kinematics and then you will take the midterm exam. Okay, then uh, I will teach the kinematics of the closure of chain uh, with the simple example and then dynamics and often chain, trajectory generation, motion planning and robot control. After then you will take the final exam. Okay, actually this textbook consists of 13 chapter but we will deal with the 11 chapter including the preview as a chapter one. So uh, uh, this course will omit two chapters uh, including the chapter 12 and the chapter 13. 
Uh, I think those topics are also important. So if you have much time, you should uh, study together uh, using the chapter 12 and the 13. Chapter 12 is for the manipulation and the grasping. Chapter 13 is about the field mobile robot kinematics and dynamics and control. Okay. The score of this semester will be composed of a final 40% of final exam, 40% of the visitor exam, 10 homework according to the chapters, and 10% of attendance. Okay, the, let's uh, summarize uh, chapter 1 as a preview. The goal of the robotics, as mentioned before, is to create the machine that can behave and think like a human. If you have some uh, research about the human, you can ask many kinds of uh, uh, questions such as how, why are our bodies designed uh, like ours? We don't know that. The God knows. Anyway, the body is very uh, uh, body, body is very uh, special uh, structure, including the ligament and the muscle and the bone. They are uh, mixed together to make a movement of the limb. One more, why are our limbs coordinated? Uh, actually, it is related to the kinematics and the control. Now let's, let's consider the human walking. In this, while walking, the human arms, uh, both arms will swing each other with the opposite uh, phase. So uh, maybe the arm swing will be dependent on the balancing of uh, uh, angular momentum of body, human bodies. Like this, our limbs are coordinated each other compared to the uh, to the uh, the conventional robot system. Okay, one more. How do we learn and perform the complex task? Actually, it is related to the artificial intelligence of uh, intelligence uh, related to the uh, planning, motion planning, or data uh, generation. Okay. Anyway, the, our uh, final goal will mimic the human brain, human movement. Okay, our focus in in this in the course on mechanics, planning, and the control. Those are main topic of this course. Okay, the mechanism is constructed by the by connecting the link by means of the joint. Okay, the link implies the rigid bodies. Joint make the relative motion between the adjacent link. So the link, another link is here. Then we can make the, we can connect the between both using the joint, joint and the link and the link. Okay, the joint uh, will be activated using the actuator such as the electric motor. So the actuation will cause the joint to move to exert force in a desired way. It depends on the uh, human decisions. Okay, uh, uh, let's consider two kinds of mechanism of a robot system. The first one is about the open chain. The second one is the closed chain. Okay. As you can see here, uh, the mechanism can be classified as an open chain when the links of the robot mechanism can be arranged in a serial way. In this case, all the joint should have the actuator to make the movement of uh, the robot system. Okay, for example, uh, let's consider your arm when your hand uh, is allowed to move freely in space. On the other hand, your hand grasps your desk or your chair, then uh, your arm will be will be, will make the closure uh, system. 
So it, it, it is different from the uh, open chain. In the case of the open chain, if you have the, your hand uh, free, uh, with, in a freely way, moving way, then it will be uh, corresponding to the open chain mechanism. Okay. On the other hand, closed chain is defined when the link formed a closed loop. Okay. Let's consider uh, this one. Okay. This is the origin. Okay, here we can make the, some distance equation and another distance equation and another distance equation. Then this equation can be come back to the origin. Like this, we can find out six closures in this mechanism. Like this, uh, like this, uh, this kind of a mechanism can be called as a closure of, uh, closure chain mechanism. In this case. Uh, the many joint are uh, many joints appears in this mechanism, but only subset of joint uh, will be actuated, actuated because uh, many joint actually most of them will be the passive with the small active joint. Okay, the for the case of a closed closed chain mechanism, let's consider person standing on with the both feet on the ground, it will make the closure up. So it is corresponding to the closed chain mechanism. Okay. Okay, the last topic about the chapter one will be some terminology. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, the first one is the actuator. Actuator is equipped uh, inside the joint. Uh, actually, uh, actually the, there are many kinds of actuators, the DC and AC motor, but uh, this kind of electric motor provides a small, uh, small torque and uh, very high speed motion. But in order to make the uh, low speed and uh, to uh, high torque, we should apply the trans some kind of transmission or transformer. Okay, it, this topic we will deal with later. Okay, okay, the second actuator types will be the stepper motor. It make a movement according to the number of the uh, pearls provided by the CPU or some microprocessor. And SMA, SMA is the one of the actuator to be used for the robot, mo robot movement. And numeric cylinder, numeric cylinder is one of the well-known actuator to make the uh, movement and the poles uh, using the pneumatic source and the hydraulic cylinder can be used for big poles very slow or movement okay as mentioned before the transmission and the transformers are required to make a big pole big torque or poles and a small slow or speed okay the there are many examples for the transmission, gear transmission, cable drive transmission, belt and fluid transmission, and the chains and sprocket. Okay. Uh, if we apply the this kind of transmissions, we can see we can see the many uh, we can see the bangrash. Okay, the, let me explain the bangrash. Okay, let's consider this is the input side. This is the input. Let's assume that the input, input is stationary, is fixed. Stationary. In other words, fixed. The output side is, um, is allowed to move each other. Okay, in this case, for the zero movement of the input side, output can be varied according to the situation. This kind of phenomenon is called as bang rash. Okay. Bang rash, amount of the rotation available at the output side of a speed reduction device without any motion at the input. Okay, if you have some bang rash, maybe you have some problem to control it. 
because the backlash cannot be measured. Normally, the uh, backlash will, uh, will make happen uh, for your system of uh, for your system of hysteresis. On the other hand, break can be used for your uh, syst robot system. Uh, break is used to emergent to start the emergent way. On the other hand, break can be used for maintaining the posture against the gravity. Okay. Okay, there are many kinds of sensors can be used for the robot system. For revolute and the prismatic joint, rotary and the linear encoder can be used. Potentiometer and reasonable can be used for make a, making a measurement of the angle. Sometimes the tachometer can be used for the velocity measurement, speed measurement. Okay, for a pulse and torque measurement, one dimensional joint torque sensor can be used for, the, for each joint. On the other hand, the pulse torque sensor uh, can be applied to the end effect of the robot. Uh, typically, this kind of a pulse torque sensor will provide uh, three pole, x, y, g directional poles and uh, uh, three dimensional of torque. Okay, the f uh, for the movement, uh, for the loca uh, locomotion of a robot system, the localization is uh, one of the important issue of the uh, in, uh, for the localization uh, and the object and the robot. We use the vision-based camera and the RGB and the depth camera is used. Uh, and laser range finder can be used for the uh, localization and the navigation. The acoustic sensor mm, uh, can be used for a uh, cheaper solution uh, for the localization and navigation. Okay. The, the final goal will be the human uh, final goal is the human thinking way. So the, the robot system will be extended to the intelligence, artificial intelligence and the computer perception. Okay, actually the, nowadays we are going to the artificial intelligence and the computer perception, but uh, this, this uh, course, uh, this course does not deal with the, this kind of topic. We are only concentrated on the mechanics and the planning and the control.